we're going to create a room on OBS Ninja. So I'm going to type in OBS and because I've been there quite frequently recently, it comes up with OBS Ninja as a sent suggestion. So it's OBS.Ninja and this is the main entry screen. Now the only part that we're interested in is add group chat to OBS. So I'm going to click add group chat to OBS and the screen changes and it asks me for a room name. Now I'm going to just type my name in. And a password. SJH22. I don't need a strong password. I just need a temporary password which people can use. This is the password that I'll give to everybody who actually wants to join in the broadcast. Okay. And we're doing this to set up before we actually go live on Facebook or anywhere else for that matter. So I'm going to enter the control room and the screen changes and you can see that I've got a guest invite. And that's the one we need to use. We can ignore the other three for the moment. All we would need to do is to have a guest. So to invite the first guest, we copy the link, we go to a new tab and copy and paste the link type in the password that we're given. So it's important that you actually give people the password and remember to get the case right because it's got to be the right case. Now I've got two options here. We are always going to use join the room with the camera and I'm going to select my camera, which is XSplit VCam and that will take a second to come up and wait for the camera to appear on screen. Okay. And look at the camera. So that's the camera. The audio source is your microphone and that's your main microphone. If it's in turn for the computer, all good. If it's an external microphone, select that one. Uh, and as you can see with the meter actually moving, uh, my microphone is working, my voice is being recorded. And you can check which sound output you're gonna have. Now, my suggestion is that everybody wears earbuds. OK, it makes life a lot easier. So put your earbuds on and you can change the destination to your earbuds. Um, there we are. So that's going to be the setup, my camera, my microphone and audio. And I can test the audio. And I could hear that. So that's good. So let's go start. And I'm now in the room. This is Stephen's room, my room, and I can invite other people to join it, but I've got to be the first person to join so that I can greet people as they arrive. Now, when you're in this room and you can see people in the room, you can just talk to them normally. You don't need to go live. You can have a chat first and then go live. But what's happened in your control room as producer, you can actually see that I am in the room, okay? And that's all you need to know. So we went to OBS Ninja. We created a room with a password. We got the link you can see up above me now. We copied that link and that put me in the room. And you can see me in here in the director's control panel. Now the director is the one who takes the next steps and uses the copy the link to actually create the broadcast. Okay, so it's two steps. One is the room and we're on the way to doing that. Just keep using copy link, send out that link with the password to everybody you want to join. If they've no password, they can't get in. If they don't know the link, they can't get in. Simple and straightforward. So that's stage one. And I'll see you in stage two, whereas as director, we actually go to OBS and we actually create on OBS a scene. And on that scene, we copy the people who are actually in the room now.